All right, everyone. Welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm gonna do a little video here. Uh, this is actually some uh, remelt plastic. Let me make sure this thing is. I'm gonna do um, basically an experiment. Um, I've never dealt with this plastic before. Um, I met a guy. Uh, this week, actually, uh, name is Eric from uh, Yolo Bakes. Uh, matter of fact, here's his business card. Go check him out. Um, anyway, he um, he uses Calhoun, and we were talking that he actually had a little box of uh, some sprues and stuff. And so I'm actually going to test it out. Um, you know, I was feeling uh, it's a medium blend because uh, that's pretty much all I use is just medium blend. But I want to compare it, yeah, even though it's pretty much remelt, I want to compare it to, say, uh, like regular bait plastics, uh, 242 medium blend. Um, it felt pretty tough. You know, I was taking the sprues and actually, like, pulling on it see how how much uh stretch it has and how much pressure it takes for it to break so um anyway i'm melting it down and i'm gonna let it cook for just a few more seconds and let it sit for a minute and basically just you know shoot a uh couple of crawls out of it and see see how it does um like right now it's got a lot of air bubbles in it but we'll see if they will do it for about 25 seconds just see if they will um you know break up and because i know with my regular uh bait plastics i use i let it sit in there for a little bit and they um the bubbles will slowly you know disappear so we're gonna see how it does with this um, basically that's all I'm doing is just a little bit of testing um, I actually shot the I was gonna do this video la uh, late yesterday evening because um, I'd mixed up some bait plastics and shot some of these crawls um, and Basically, I ended up not able to finish the, you know, what I was about to do. Um, had some, my wife's sister and her husband had came over, um, visiting from out of town. So, anyway, so, uh, I basically didn't do this last night. We ended up just hanging out, um, grilling some stuff on the black stone and you know just hanging out yesterday afternoon so i'm doing all this this morning anyway so this video will be released here in a you know within an hour or so probably because it's like nine o'clock in the morning now so <clears throat> so basically the biggest difference in these were these right here be shot yesterday afternoon so they had plenty of time to cool Actually, I didn't even take them the molds, you know, I just once we got to that point and they were Gonna be here. I just went ahead and left everything where it was at um, Yeah, I got my wrist Wrapped up right now. I've done a lot of work yesterday, and it's a little sore. So I'm just trying to baby it a little bit All right, let's see Yeah, they still some They still some air bubbles. Um of course, he had told me this uh, Calhoun is, uh, you know, a lot thicker. You know, it's not as, you know, it's it's a little bit thicker uh, as far as how it shoots and all. So I'm, like I say, I'm curious to see how it does. I'm gonna heat it up just a, a tad more, just in case it is a little thicker. Um,
can give it a try. I ain't worried too much about a few air bubbles. I mean, these, uh, the reason I chose this mold, I wanted to, uh, next time I go out fishing, I'm going to uh, use this bait. Um, it works really well. Depends on how you fish it. Uh, you know, that style bait right there, I'll actually use a smaller, um, a smaller hook Texas rig and I'll probably use about a three alt wide gap hook Texas rig. Um alright in a second I'll show you I'll actually take the box and I'll show you what what uh color that sprue was to begin with. Let's see if I can get you set up. And of course you probably can see a difference in the shop um the location of where everything is is pretty much moved around. I finally got all the insulation in. Uh, got the walls finished, the ceiling finished. Uh, pretty much, pretty much about everything done. I mean, I've uh, I've got a small amount of trim. Or right, well, all the trim's done. But I got a small amount of like more silicone. I might like caulking in a couple of areas, but other than that, I'm pretty much done. Um, I got a couple more lights to install later, but I won't do that for a while. Let that sit for a minute. I'll show you what I'm talking about. But this area over here, this corner over there is where I done my other videos at. That was uh, the original this all this stuff was pretty much right here in the center but anyway i got the area pretty much you know where i got room to move uh nice and cool in here uh i got a couple more lights i'll put up but they'll be over there and i ain't worried about that until i get all this stuff out of here so uh, i got my little trap door up top for the law uh anyway plenty of room um yeah the molds up there you know i can pretty much get everything now so um i'm still gonna get a a nice tabletop because you know that plastic table don't work for me so that'll get me by temporary for a little while uh probably put a desk here because i like having a desk to be able to you know sit there and do some work write stuff out uh, of course, I always got to have a TV. Uh, you know, I like noise in the background. Uh, my little, my little jig hobby area. You know, make myself some personal jigs, and that also goes back to I like having a desk area. Uh, you know, because it just seems like when you need to do, say, if you're painting a crankbait or uh, you know, putting all the hardware on a jig, you know, making it. Or just anything like that it's always nice to have a desk so i'm definitely gonna uh look for a desk i've been looking at some on marketplace and it's crazy because a lot of people are wanting as much for a used desk as you can go buy a damn brand new one for uh there's a place not too far from here uh in chattanooga um that sells you know brand new desk and you can get them you know about 189 dollars for a nice you know cherry wood desk go pick it up brand new for like 189 dollars and you got people around here that are selling used desks that just look like something they might have bought from walmart for two three hundred dollars it's crazy uh i've only found a couple like cheaper desks and they look like something that should be thrown away so it's like it's odd you know back you know say back home where from hell fifty dollars you can get you a damn a nice desk i mean a massive di uh desk you know six seven feet long you know a real big one for fifty sixty dollars and i mean i ain't seeing nothing like that up here so people are are proud of their used desk so i'll probably end up taking the drive over uh, i think it took last time i went there i think it took about close to maybe an hour so um uh, anyway i might end up taking me a drive up there and just 
buying a damn brand new one um, cheaper than what I can get a used one right here. But anyway, let's get back to this, look at it, uh, see how it, how it looks. Because you know me, I'll run my damn mouth. But, and I'm curious, I might, I might actually experiment and try something out. Uh, I don't know how well it will work yet, but I'm not going to say what I'm thinking until uh, I look at this and see what it looks like. But, um, anyway, I've, I've been super busy these last several days so ah. that color ain't that color ain't bad at all I'll definitely use that for myself um certain times and I went fishing a few days ago um let's see what day was that I think it was it might have been it was a couple of days ago. I think it was uh, Thursday, maybe Thursday or Friday. Um. Anyway, went fishing for a little bit, and um, we done all right. We went and looked at some different areas up here. Uh, went a little further north, and man, it seemed like the further north we go, the smaller fish we're catching. But I mean, we still caught some. You know, we caught a bunch of fish, but a bunch of little bass, but God, most of them up there were, um, I mean, anything from eight inches up to maybe a pound. I mean, it was like, really, I mean, they're fun, but the size were just smaller. So we rode back down and came, you know, further this away towards where we're living and started catching better quality. Um, anyway, the later it got in the afternoon, it got real, well, I say dark. Hell, it was 8.30 at, um, it was 8.30 at night, pretty much. So it was almost, it was almost black dark. But uh, anyway, what we ended up doing was, uh, it, it was dark enough you couldn't see, you know, so I had some of those um, moon dog crawls and I didn't even get to take a picture of it, you know, it, we was trying to hurry up the last few minutes, but uh, I ended up catching, like the later it got and further down our way we got, the better the quality of fish, but uh, anyway, the about the last two I caught were the biggest two and that was on down those uh moon dog crawls like i say it was uh it was pretty much almost black dark you know basically it was a uh, a dark green color and they was just seeing the silhouette you know working through the tops of the grass and coming up and just killing it but um anyway end up with a couple of them that you know i say decent ones they were three pounders you know pretty decent um Especially for that day, they were massive compared to the other ones we had caught that day. I mean, I think I, shit, I think I ended up with uh, nine or ten in the boat that day, and like almost every one of them, besides those last two, were like pound and a quarter and less. You know what I mean? They were just small ones. But uh, anyway, it was still it was still fun. Um, you know, it's always fun, and plus, you know, me and my dad, we were spending some time together and, um, and exploring, you know, well, we went up uh, around Goose Pond area and went, you know, under a bridge and exploring some of that, and it's shallow, and like I say, the, uh, the bass were so much smaller that we were catching, try to angle that. Uh, so much smaller than what we was catching like closer over here. Uh, went to uh, Mint Creek area and uh, that's where we caught our better ones at. Um, but anyway, next trip we go, which probably be sometime uh, in the next couple of days, uh, I actually want to explore and go 
you know, further down, you know, towards like the actual town of Gunnersville. Um, do some fishing down there on the boat. Um, my wife, she's wanting to go play in the water and swimming, so I think tomorrow I'll take her, um, maybe take her out and um, play in the water and see. It's been a while, I say, it's been probably a couple years uh, since I've actually went legit swimming, you know, I ain't been swimming a long time, so, anyway, um, I got a lot more work done on the outside, too, you know, I've, uh, I've been, been doing a lot of a lot of work. I pretty much got everything done that I want that I wanted to get done before I start, you know, start work. Uh, I went and done my drug test and all. Uh, just waiting on the uh, background check uh, to come back. So hopefully that'll come back soon, um, so I can get started work. I done about spent out, so you know it don't take long to uh, to you know, blow through all your money. So you got to uh, got to get back working where I can finish some of the projects that I want to get done later on but for now I've gotten I've gotten so much work done that it's you know I'm sick of working uh, well, I ain't gonna say I'm sick of working I enjoy staying busy but at the same time you know you can at the same time, you can burn yourself out, you know. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. But, like I say, it's been pretty much every day. I mean, yesterday I spent almost the entire day hauling dirt. You know, we had a... Uh, a load of sand dropped off here uh, about a month ago. Um, a six-ton load. Yesterday, I moved. That's one of the things that hurt my wrist. I um, I got a wagon that holds shit. It hell, it probably holds. Um, it probably holds 300 pound or more. You know. 350 somewhere there 100 pound worth of uh, of sand each time and I, I filled that thing up and by hand drug probably 25 loads you know all across the yard you know filling up different little holes and stuff so between dragging that and shoveling sand or, and raking and doing stuff like that had my wrist a little, a little sore today, so I'm trying to baby it. And I usually pause it while I'm doing this kind of stuff, but I just figured I'd run my mouth a little bit. But um, I'm actually what I'm going to do is see. I'm curious about because I've done it with like say bait classes and dead on, where I've laminated them together to see how see how they do. Uh, I'm curious about this, you know, Calhoun laminating that with, say, bait plastics, even though it's, you know, Calhoun's a little bit, I can tell, and even, you know, Eric, he had told me, it's a little, uh, it pushes a little thicker, and I can tell a little bit more resistance in the, um, you know, in the injector, so I'm just curious if it, uh, if it'll laminate, you know, decent or not. See how hot I got that. I might have heated that up a little hot. Oh yeah, about 400. It's all right. I've actually heated um, baked plastics up to 400 quite a few times, and it really hasn't hurt it. So uh, now you don't want to go much more than that because you'll mushroom it. You know, I've. Uh, I've had to throw some batches away like that a couple of times where I started running my mouth and wouldn't pay any attention. The next thing you know, you got a mess. All right, let's see. 
Yeah, right now we got about a we got about a 30 degree difference between them. So I'll let that I'll let that sit in there for a second. Um, anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I needed to damn mention or talk about. I cannot think of anything. Be honest with you. Yeah, while while I'm waiting on that, I will. I did say I was going to show you the color of the sprues that that came off of, and that's the color. You know, it was laminated color, so that's what that silver color looks like. But one of the things I had noticed, like the the toughness of the sprue with the Calhoun is I mean that's that's a lot of maybe you able to see that um anyway that's a lot of uh that's a lot of torque just to just to break that I mean so that's that's kind of cool uh, I'm glad he gave me a little box of that because uh, I got tons of damn sprues and stuff. But I, you know, I've been really wanting to try out that uh, Calhoun plastics. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I just, I've, I've actually been curious about it. So uh, that was kind of cool that he had some with him when he came, and you know, we hung out. Um, out there in the yard for I don't know probably 20 or 30 minutes talking and you know he was a cool guy so like I say if you get a chance go check out his stuff uh, you know he makes quality he makes quality work so go check him out and all right we're we're right there close so we're gonna see if this does anything or not All right, let's see here. This is gonna be interesting. I got a, uh, I got a little, a small cup, you know, well, a one cup and a two cup. All it's gotta do is make enough, uh, make sure that's done. All right. Let's see what happens here. I'm hoping that the uh, that the bait plastics don't, you know, I mean, like run so much faster that it it fills it up uh, quicker. But this is it's one of those experiments that I was curious about, so I figured it might be fun to try it. And who knows? You might have been wondering if it will laminate also. Or you might not care, you know what I mean? Uh, it might not be one of those things that you give a hoot about, but I'm just curious. Um, stuff like that, you know, it's sometimes it's neat to, to play around with just to see if it will. Because um, in the past, you know, I've done, uh, I've laminated, and I've mixed them together. I mean, I've, uh, I've took raw, plastic from say like dead on and um bait plastics and mix them together you know and they work just fine um i've actually done that with a uh lure works brand i've mixed it with a uh, dead on before just to try it out and hell, it worked fine i'm sure some of them don't work fine but it seemed to work fine. Those that I've done, I don't, honestly, I don't know about the Calhoun. I am curious about that. I wouldn't mind one day. I might try to get uh, get a little bit of it, you know, and and use it. Um, I don't need no 
drum of it um, especially now that I've uh, pretty much went back to just doing um, pretty much just went back to hobby stage you know I ain't, I ain't trying to you know do it full time or nothing like that pretty much cut back and doing it as a hobby and just taking care of uh, you know some of my customers that have been with me for a long time so um, just because it takes up so much of your time you don't you know what I mean doing it full time now one day I might decide I want to get back into it you know wide open again and you know if I do that's fine um, but as of right now I definitely want to just keep it small time um, so if I was wide open again like I was last year and the year before I wouldn't have time to go fishing or work on anything like I you know like I want to do plus if everything works out right I mean I should be in um in training for about eight weeks once all this stuff starts so I'll be gone doing that for a while all right, we're fixing to get to the point of this video in just a second. I know I have probably sat here and wasted a ton of your time, but we're gonna get to the point of the video and that's to see if I, and I kinda hate that those uh, bait plastics ones, and I'm not saving this. I hate that the bait plastics ones had over, you know, all night to, to sit there and you know cool down and all but anyway we're going we're going to check these out first these i could have took these and like dipped them in some water or something real quick but uh basically that's the biggest thing i wanted to see matter of fact i'm gonna turn the camera around and kind of try to try to do it like this but drag this crap out of the way you can tell i ain't got everything set up like it was in my old building but um that's the bait plastic one oh uh, i could tell a difference right that down i could i could tell a difference right there just by pulling it and these are you know fresh so they feel more stretchy. Pretty. Oh yeah, I can tell them right there are a little more stretchy. I don't want to break the damn claws off, but anyway i can tell these right here got a lot more stretch to them this one right here had overnight to see it decent stretch damn i hurt my damn wrist anyway that's that's i mean they're they both got a good softness to them but the um i can tell this right here has got a lot more stretch and give to it all right let's look at these damn laminated ones real quick we're gonna waste about 30 minutes of your time and i know sometimes i get asked about what mold is what this is the uh uh you know i think they they label it as like the 709 crawl or something like that it's the hollow body crawl by um by bts molds but um it laminated okay i mean you can see where the the green you know flowed a little bit faster and bled into it a little bit but hell they don't look bad i'll definitely uh use them 
I'll probably use them on my next fishing trip. Um, the little hollow bodies, I mean, they do good. You get a good hook set with the hollow body crawls. So, that looks good. I'm sure these will look good also. You know, I cut different, um, different rods for them. I got little short rods so I can make uh, solid. Like that right there pretty much didn't laminate. It's just solid green. But um, I made different size rods so I can do like a full hollow body all the way to the back. The half hollow body with these. And then ones that just barely come to the tip where you get a solid crawl. But uh, anyway, they turned out good. That one... I can say a solid green, but they they turned out good. All right, so all in all, um, all in all, I'm happy with it. Even though, like I say, that's that's just a remelt, uh, so it's not the same as playing with the raw plastic. So I would like to one day get some and actually, you know, test the uh, raw plastic. See. You know how um how well it does um it does it have you know a lot more air bubbles does it not you know just do a little bit of playing with it um like i said i'm not gonna be you know i'm not gonna be using enough to get a 55 gallon drum but i know once in a while i've seen where there was some smaller batches on sale like on some of the marketplace uh groups so I might try to get some and, and play around with it. But anyway, we are fixing to go ahead and wrap this up. Like I say, I start talking, I'll jibber jabber. Um, hopefully we'll get some more exciting videos going. This right here was just something I was curious about and I figured I'd film it while I was at it. Um, so we'll do some more, you know, I know some people like color matching type stuff, so we might do some color matching. Um, Hopefully, we'll be able to get a little bit of uh, actual fishing videos going on one day. Uh, you know, get set back up. But right now, I just, hey, I'm, I'm more trying to learn the little area. So, I'm not sure that would be very exciting. You see me riding around looking and, you know, trying to learn stuff. So, anyway, um, we're going to wrap this up. As always, I do appreciate everybody that subscribed to the channel. Um, all the comments, you know, all the feedback, you know, I do appreciate it. Um, if you got any questions, if you've, you know, say you used Calhoun or other brands, give me some feedback on what you like better. I mean, I've used bait plastics for a long time and I like them, but, you know, I do want to, I've heard a lot of good things about Calhoun, so I do want to try that out. Um, from what I can tell, I think it'll be a, a decent plastic. But um, anyway, um, when we do hit, I believe 2,000, I'm still planning on doing a, a decent size giveaway. Uh, what I mean by decent size is like a you know giveaway that's worth you know a couple hundred dollars or more, you know, which I think is a decent giveaway. Um, but anyway so share it with your friends share it, you know just share it you know um the more we can get it out there the faster we can build the channel up and maybe the more we can uh get some cool stuff out there but uh anyway i'm gonna let y'all go i've wasted enough of your time and we will catch you next time thank you